aeropuerto shuttle bus les va a conectar a 2.30 a.m. Oh, mañana. that is lovely. Gracias. You're very welcome. Oh. Another satisfied customer. Oh, yeah. Who else have you been rubbing with sun cream? Ah, that's for me to know and you to find out. It's a joke. Yeah. Like your dodgy claim for disability, that was for you to know and the DSS to find out, and they bloody did, didn't they? Yeah, well, it's all sorted now. Not a care in the world. Not a care in the world? We're up to our eyeballs in debt. We've got an eight-year-old with ADD and a 17-year-old with a nine-month-old baby. Yeah, well, that's the beauty of an holiday in the sun, isn't it? Forget all your cares and worries. It's like these two, black and white minstrels. Look at the state of them, they couldn't give a shit. Don't you go upsetting him today. Don't go upsetting him? He could have an argument in a phone box with no money, that one. Mm. Mind you, he has paid for this holiday. Oh, Christ, and don't we know about it? A bit of gratitude won't go amiss. He nearly died in that pool yesterday. And whose fault was that? Nobody told him to have a diving competition with Fatty Arbuckle. Anyway, it was me that gave him the kiss of life. I know. It's no wonder he looks so ill. <laughs> Hi, Mum. Hi, Mel. How are you feeling? Looking to be alive. Yeah. But I'd rather not talk about it. It's all the same to you. We had a terrible night. Mel dragged me a bath and I started having flashbacks. I think it was the sound of the water. But to be honest, I'd rather not talk about it. Probably best if you don't. You on the old karaoke tonight, Mel? It's terrible when your old life flashes in front of you like that. I couldn't even see it properly because I didn't have my glasses on. Still, I'd rather just forget about it. It's all the same to you. Yeah, we could deal with that, no problem. Can I get you a drink, Mel? I still feel the chlorine in the water ravaging my eyes. Oh, for fuck's sake! What's wrong with him? Oh, we knew you'd be back, the pair of you, didn't we, Jacqueline? Oh, yes. Well, actually, it's a belated honeymoon. Oh, lovely. Cos this is where you proposed, didn't it? Yes. We've returned to the scene of the crime. How romantic. Yeah. <laughs> Plus 160 quid all-inclusive for a week. Cost more to stay at home. Oh, exactly. We've got a friend at our sauna, Big Donna. She's been banned from most of the all-you-can-eat restaurants in our area, hasn't she? She's a big girl. But she comes to Benidorm and they just let her get on with it here, don't they? It's buffy heaven. She even got caught smuggling pancake rolls in her knickers from Mr Woo's, but they just gave her a doggy bag. <laughs> it's as if we never left. <laughs> What have I just said to you? Well, that's not a stupid question. Why did you have a baby? Because I just did. You think Nana and Mel will have a baby? No, I don't. Why not? Because they're too old. I wish they would have one. Why? Because then we'd have a brown baby. And an orange one as well. <laughs> Oh, hello there. What's wrong with you? Can I pick him up? Yeah. Do you want to look after him tonight? Um, hello, my name's Kate. Hiya, do you want to look after him tonight? Do you really think it's wise to be asking someone you don't know to babysit for you? Oh, I know who you are. You were here last year when our Michael dropped a log in the pool. Sorry. What's your baby's name? Coolio. Coolio? After the rapper. Oh, I see. I don't think I know any of his songs. Gangster's Paradise. Sticky Fingers. Ugly Bitches. No. Hello. Hiya. Um... I've just spoken to the hotel in Altea and they said they might be able to have us back tomorrow. So it looks like we're stuck here for a bit longer. 
well, at least tonight. But I'm sure we can find something to do. Scooter, we can find you another sunbed. I'm all right, I'm here, thank you. Got everything I need here. <laughs> You're right, Mel. I'll survive. Might be nice for Mel to use the wheelchair for a couple of days while he's not feeling too good. Thicker dum dum, a great balls of fire. You what? Karaoke for tonight. Here we are, fill your boots. I might have a crack at Wuthery Nights. Yeah, I'll look forward to that. Hey, you and Tell should do a duet. What about uh, Ebony and Ivory? <laughs> Why don't we have a nice night in together? You should be taking it easy. Well, with karaoke on the go, no danger. Here we are, Madge. This round's on me. <laughs> I think you'll find the drinks are on Mel. It's all inclusive. A little change from 900 quid for this holiday. I'm not going to have much thanks for it. Uh, what's that you're talking about? Me saving your life yesterday? Oh, no, don't mention it. Cheers, Mel. Oh, you won't get any thanks out of that one. I just said thank you. I've never understood that selfish, ungrateful streak in my kids. I said thank you. When she was a child, she used to eat her sweets on the toilet so she didn't have to share them with anyone. Now, do you actually believe this stuff yourself, Mother, or do you just enjoy making it up as you go along? Hiya. What do you want? Just want to see if you were all right after yesterday. I'm fine, no thanks to you. Beg your pardon? You heard me. If it hadn't been for you, I wouldn't have banged my head on the bottom of the pool. How would you work that out? You've done enough damage. Why can't you leave the man in peace? Leave him in peace? As idiots like you get people killed. Are you called an idiot, you dickhead? All right, ladies, that's enough. Dickhead? Dickhead? You can't talk to me like that. My father fell at Normandy. I don't care if you went ass over tits in Scunthorpe, you're a dickhead. Can we just all calm down? Think yourself lucky. You should be up for attempted murder. Fuck off. Right, that's it. Mel, what are you Come here. Come on. Sit down, Mel. What are you doing? Sit down. Sit down. Come on, Norman. Come on, Norman. Come on, Norman. Come on, Get up now. Joe, fat boy, you caused problems here before. I remember. Up. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Well, keep away from me, do you? Keep away! On your bike. And that goes for two sheer turtle in wheelchair and all. Go. Go with your mummy. I'm going. Ah. Dickheads. Who the freak's two shade turtle? Martin, turn the television off. We can't have that on with a baby here. Why not? We might like it. Martin, please don't try to be funny. It's very tiring. And close the balcony door. There's a draught. That'll be the baby, then. Pocket. If you drop him on the floor, put him in boiling water. If he cries, he's got a teething ring in the inside pocket. I shouldn't be too late. Wet wipes are in the bottom of the bag. Aye. Right. OK. Anything else? No, that's it. Oh, and um, I think he might need changing. Thanks a lot. I'll see you later. Is it all right to open the balcony door again? I 
How's your chicken, ma'am? A bit bland. Wish I'd gone for the beef curtains. <laughs> Me <laughs> beef medallions, ma'am. Do you mind? <laughs> beef curtains! You knew what she meant. <laughs> oh, Jesus! Who needs cabaret with your mother sat there? You're up. Hi, love, did you have him sorted? Yeah, they were dead tough to have him. Oh, lovely. It's only for a couple of hours, isn't it? Yeah. Where's Mel? He'll be here soon. He was getting changed. Does smell like beef curtains, man. <laughs> Will you pack it in? What are beef curtains? Now look what you've done. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Everyone all right for drinks? What an orange match? Yeah. No. No, I'm fine, thank you. Back in a minute. Jesus, looks like we're getting cabaret after all. Well, hello, Saturday night fever. Is that the bloke that was wearing the thong yesterday? Yes, yeah, quite a natty dresser. I've got a swimsuit with a thong. Mm. It's very summery, but it can ride up a bit, if you know what I mean. Uh, excuse me, could you cancel my order for the blancmange? <laughs> if you define the word bad. You need everybody talk about pop music, talk about pop music, talk about pop music, pop, pop, pop music, pop, It's quite pop, sexy pop in some ways, ways, isn't it? Talk about... I'm sorry, are we all looking at the same thing? Don't get me wrong. He's not conventionally attractive, pop, 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 but I have been known pop, pop, to go for some unusual types in my time. You don't say. I'm getting tired. Can you take over? I can't do that. Of course you can. It's all in the hips. Yeah. <laughs> 
Thank you very much. I like to dedicate this to a very special lady who over the last few weeks has made me feel like a very special man. a bit too tight. You don't think he put yours on by mistake, do you, Matt? <laughs> I'm sorry to interrupt, but I just wanted to apologise for my son having a go at your husband today. Oh, he's not my husband. He's... He's just a friend. Well, an acquaintance, really. Hardly know him. Oh, right. I just didn't want it to spoil your holiday. No, don't be daft. It was just a misunderstanding. Well, it can get a bit out of control. When he was luckily had one of them leather crash helmets, you know, to stop him nutting the wall. But it don't fit him anymore. Well, they grow so fast, don't they? Maybe. Just before I end the mic back, there's a small announcement I'd like to make. As some of you know, yesterday, I had an accident in the pool, which nearly took my life. It's times like this that make you realize that life is not a rehearsal. This is it. And yes, I've made a success of my life. I've got five sunbed jobs in Manchester. <laughs> But I think it was Charles Manson who said, you're not living life to the full if you're living it alone. I know my late wife, Nellis, who died in a crazy paving accident in 1979, will be smiling down on me now as I say, Madge, Delilah Baron, will you marry me? Fucking hell! Yes. Yes, I'll marry you.